The life of an administrator is 24 hours a day. I get up at four o'clock in the morning, I get my son ready for school, I get him off to the school bus, and then I hop on the highway to make my way to Philadelphia. I do what I do every day because I love my job, my students, and my staff. Tough, tough job. I don't think I realized how hard it was. Our goal here at Emlyn certainly is to prepare today's students to become tomorrow's leaders. And what that means is it's important as a principal to make sure parents understand their part and their role in helping us to do that. It's really everything. The, um, the teachers are great, the principal is great, they go above and beyond and they really care about the children and the families that are here at the school. Emlyn has gotten better over the years. Um, I have a son that's in ninth grade now and he started first grade here at Emlyn a long time ago. I like Emlyn because it's a good school. I like Emlyn because it's a good school. It's perfect, you're getting it. Awesome dude, you got it. The way that I incorporate my love for nature and humanity um, and ecology into my lessons is through science and social studies. So I try to make it alive for them. I try to help them see that the things that they do affect more than just themselves. And I do that um, socially through our behavior. Um, we don't have um, like a behavior chart or a color system in here, which is traditional. Um, instead, we just have sort of expectations. Every student is expected to behave a certain way, you know, where they are always working and thinking of others and, you know, doing things that are collaborative and kind and consider others instead of just being really impulsive and self-centered and things like that. Being able to support children, help them reach their highest potential, and just being there for them is my favorite thing about my job. Seeing the smiles on their face when I help them, when I see them in the morning and they're excited to see me is what drives me every day. I am a teacher today because of my kindergarten teacher, Miss Lipton from Coquizahickon. And then my mom and dad, like, they helped me out too. They would buy me, they bought me a chalkboard. And then um, the teachers, when they would get rid of teacher's editions, I would take them and make my little brother be a student as I was the teacher. So I never thought of anything else. Most of our fifth graders will be going to Amy Northwest and Hill Friedman Middle Schools. As we're preparing our kids for middle school, sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard because we're like, you know, we kind of coddle them so much, but, but they need that. They need that love. They need that attention. And they need to know that people really care um, about their everyday lives, you know. I mean, we're still strict school. I mean, we still believe in the zero um, bullying policy and all of those things, right, that we run a tight ship but yet we do it with love, care, and concern. Because when you turn on the news and you hear everything that goes on every day, you just say, is it one of my students? Uh, yeah. Is it somebody I know? Yeah. And the next morning you come and you do, you wrap your arms around your children and you thank, you thank God that they're safe another day. Yeah. But that's just another day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so instruction is important, of course, but what we face every day mm -hmm. in keeping our kids safe will keep you awake at night. Yeah. At one point, I thought that I wanted to be a social worker, and I, but then I started to think about myself and just the person that I am. And I said, well, I think maybe if I go into social work, I may end up with a house full of 20 children just because <laughs> I just think I have that big of a heart. And I said, well, I think I'll go with my first choice with being a teacher because I can still have an impact on 20 children or more every day um, being an educator. When I was younger, I went to a summer camp all the, like every summer, it's what I knew. You go to school, you go to summer camp. And then my first job was being a junior counselor there. And then I became a regular counselor and a camp supervisor. And I didn't want to leave helping kids. Special education is great here at Emlyn. We really try to get in touch with the parents, find out what the parents want for the child, find out what the strengths and the needs are for the child. We really look at the child as a whole and where they're going to go in the future and how to get them on the path, what supports they need, and how to um, accommodate and modify curriculums to fit their needs for them to be successful. I teach art. We call it art, but it's a mixture of art and literacy. So all of our projects are based on literacy. 
Um, I've been doing this job for seven years and um, I've been a teacher for, this is my 31st year. So 30 of them have been at Emlyn. So I've been around a while and I've been here a while. Many times our kids are too shy and too afraid of making a mistake. Art's not about a mistake. Mistakes are valued. Because even if you use the wrong color, you can turn around and change it into something else. And building that confidence in the kids is what I try to do. It's always, can I have another paper? Can I have another paper? No, let's see what we can do with this one. And they, they build on to their mistake and, and be proud of what they do. Hi, my name is Ariana. I am in fifth grade. The thing I love most about art class is new experiences. Our theme this year is collage and I like, um, I like, I like the different collages we do and the different materials we use. The artist we're learning about this year is Romir Bearden. Romir Bearden was really good at um, abstract and collages. Um, it means a lot um, when we have different programs and we have community partners who come in and support um, the work that we're doing. Over the years, um, starting out as a school teacher and then now as an administrator, I realized that the work is more challenging um, because the needs are more. Um, but I think that it takes dedicated people who won't walk away from the job. We've been with Emlyn School now for four years and uh, what we do here is develop murals in the school with the children teaching drawing, painting and community, a sense of community, feeling pride in oneself, in one's family, in the community and it's been so wonderful working with these children and working with uh, Tammy Thomas, the principal, and Denise Veronic, the teacher. The things that come out of this, um, I think will have far reaching, you know, long term uh, positive imagery for their families and for themselves and for the school. I'm a local artist and painter with the Mount Airy Art Garage. I am a teaching artist with our Community of Pride mural and art making program. And we meet with the children. We have class once a week and we do, we, they learn about making art and art history and we design a mural. They learn about making the mural and they actually design it and we paint it and then it goes up in the school. Well, my name's Lois Pfeiffer and I um, opened this library about three years ago. Well, this is our third year we've been up and running. It's all volunteers. Uh, we're open on Tuesday and Thursday mornings and we see every class in the school. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. We really enjoy it. Well, they, they did away with the librarians in the Philadelphia Public Schools several years ago. And uh, this room was actually uh, put together. We decorated a new carpet, furniture, and books a few years ago, but they had no staffing, so they could never open. Well, I worked at uh, Meadowbrook School, private school, for 15 years. And uh, I did primarily reading, read, primarily reading teacher. And, uh, and then I retired and I was looking for volunteer work to do. And that's how I ended up here. I'm currently with the Boys and Girls Club of Philadelphia. Um, we are a 21st century funded site. So our program focuses on literacy help and STEM help, as well as doing 30 minutes of homework help a day. So Monday through Thursday, we do 30 minutes of homework help. We also are, do about four hours of recreational activities a week. Emlyn is kind of like the only place I've ever felt at home here in Philly because I moved here all by myself with no family, no friends. Um, and I really found a family here, so the staff is very special to me and the kids are very special to me. Being here just feels like home to me. It's all of our school. It's just not my school. It's not just Principal Thomas School. It's, it's, we work as a team here. And if we don't work as a team, all this falls by the wayside. It's not a job that you can do by yourself. I tell my leadership team and my teachers and my parents all the time, I can't do this job without you. And I let them know how much I appreciate them because it is a lot that needs to be done in order to move our students forward.